Alright guys, today I'm going to show you how to build your CO2 car in Onshape. Uh, you don't have to create a new file for this. All you're going to do is find your CO2 car design that you have done. Double click it. If you haven't shared with me, please share it with me now. Down here in the bottom left hand corner, you're going to find a plus sign. And I want you to click on create assembly. And then I want you to come up here and click on insert and you should find a picture of your car when you click on it. You can put that anywhere you want it. You click the mouse button, it'll anchor it. Click on the green check mark. Now to navigate through this, it's the same as any time that you're modeling. You can rotate it, you can zoom, those type of things. And this exercise is really going to test your ability to be able to manipulate in a 3D environment to move things around. So the next thing you want to go to insert and click on other documents and then created by me. And let's start with the axle first. So I'm going to click on it once for the back axle. I'll click on it twice for the front axle. And click on the green check mark and now it's time to move it, them into place. So first let's start at the top. You can tell they're way off. But if you click on it you have these arrows that you can move it around. And we're just going to kind of place it where they should be. Now it's not inside the block yet, and that's okay. Um, to exit out of that, just click anywhere on the white part of the screen after you've moved it to get to deselect it. So drag the back one in place. When you have it, click on the white part out to the side, and it'll deselect it. Now, as you can tell, they're still messed up, but they're almost there. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to move them again in looking at the back or the front um, on the side view here. I'm going to move them around so that they are now in place. Again, click on the white spot to deselect it. Move the front one in, in place the same way as you did the back one. Now when I rotate it around to look at it in the 3D view, I can tell I've got them in place there in part of the car. And if I really want to, I can always go back and really tweak them out. As you can tell, the back is a little bit off center, so I'm going to kind of bring it up just a hair, tweak it out so that they're even. The front is a little bit off as well. And this is where you're just fine tuning, trying to put that in place. Alright, now I'm going to go to insert again because I'm going to do the front wheels this time. So go to other documents, click on create by me. And as you can tell, I've, I've got a lot to kind of search through here. So let's see which one I come to first. Alright, the front wheel, and then I click on it to place this just like the axle. You want to click somewhere out here. And then you have to click on it again for the front. Now, if you did your own custom wheels in the previous lesson, you can use those for all four. But for this exercise, we're just going to use the front wheels for the front and the rear for the rear. And as you can tell, once we got them placed there, I can move this one semi into place. But the other one is really messed up. It's, it's kind of, it's definitely not facing the right way. So I can... What I'm going to have to do is rotate it around. So to begin with, though, I'm going to do that from the top view so I can make sure that it's perfectly in there. Um, this is bugging me. So for first, before we do that, I'm going to move this over, get that one where it should be. All right. Now let's rotate this one. And I'm going to click on right here. There's a little dot that you can click on, and if you just move your mouse from side to side it will rotate it and you want to rotate this 180 degrees. Again move the arrows to where they need to be. Tell that it looked like it was there, but it's not, so now I gotta move it down. 
So when you go to move these objects, you're gonna have to do it from the top and then also either the side or the front. You're gonna have to rotate that view cube around and find where it's at and then move it accordingly. It can be tricky, but if you just keep working at it, you'll, you'll get it in place. And I'm just gonna fine tune these, bring them closer to the body so it looks, looks a little bit better. Okay, so once I have it in place, uh, you don't have to use uh, the rear wheels in the back if you've done your own custom wheels, but I'm gonna show you a common mistake. So when you go to insert and other documents, if you scroll down on mine, I'm gonna find my rear wheel. And it has this creative version in, of rear wheel. Go ahead and click on that and just click create and it will bring that up. Now, again, you don't have to use the rear wheels for yours, if you use your custom wheels and you want to use them for all four, that's that's great. Um, the rear wheels are a lot bigger and they're less aerodynamic, so I like to use the smaller wheels when I actually build the CL2 cars. But for this example, I'll show you how to do the rear wheels since you've got them done. Um, to insert them is just like the other two times. And again, you're going to have to move them in place by going to the top and then going to the side bring it into place. Okay, now I've got to rotate that one, just like the front. So click on the top, click on it, and find that little circle. Rotate it around so it's 180 degrees and then use the series of arrows to move it into place. I'm going to do this from the back so I can tell that when it's even with the other wheels. That's it. That CO2 car is now completely built. Now you should have a really good idea of what your car is going to look like when we actually build it in the shop. Alright guys, that's pretty much all there is to it of building CO2 cars in on shape and appreciate it. And if you have any uh, problems, just let me know and I'll help you out as much as I can.